What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a dope easy money glitch. It's a retro car duplication glitch. You can actually duplicate whatever car you want with this. Shout out to the founders which are myself and BMX or 300 ZX and also a shout out to a special shout out to True GTA 5 as well. Now what we're going to be doing is remember this plate right here 06LYV998 okay. Now the reason I'm showing you that plate, I'm gonna get to it in a second. What you're gonna need, you need one friend for this, but it's mad easy, let me tell you. You need one friend, you both need MOCs with the personal vehicle storage, your friend needs any personal vehicle in his MOC, doesn't matter what it is. The duper needs a Fagio or an RH8 in his MOC, Reason being, you don't need custom plates for this. That's why I showed you that plate right there. That plate from the LG will transfer over to my brand new dupe. And as always, we recommend duping Benny's vehicles. The LG Retro Custom sells for the most. So that's what I'm calling up right now. I'm gonna call up one of my LG Retro Customs. It actually has a Rollezy custom plate on it, but you don't need one. You do not need custom plates for this. You're gonna get a fresh plate every single time. All right? So. It's, it's a little bit different. We're going to be using the right D-pad start method, all right, guys? The right D-pad start is 10 times easier when you're outside and with a friend, okay? When you have a friend in the vehicle, right D-pad start is super laggy. Trust me, if you don't get it a few times, you'll get it the next time or maybe the next time. It's not that difficult. I'm going to show you some fails after I show you this full successful attempt right here. You can dupe a car every minute, no lie. It's mad easy. So here's my LG Retro Custom. This car is going to be selling for 973k. The main perspective of the video is the duper, which is me. BMXer right here is helping me out. He's the friend. He's going to be the one helping me get this dupe. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into his car. That's his car he had in his MOC. It doesn't matter what he had in there. He just needs a car in his MOC. So he's going to hop in the driver's seat. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the passenger seat. Now, what's going to happen is he's going to go ahead and get the right D-pad option, and he wants to toss a few grenades right next to his MOC. All right, so he has the right D-pad. He's going to toss a few grenades on the left side of his MOC. Once he tosses those few grenades, what he's going to then do is hit right D-pad and start at the same time and let them go. Okay, he's going to do that. If done correctly, he's going to hit a pause menu. The pause menu will come up and he'll be stuck behind the MOC. I get caught in an infinite black loading screen. All right, in, uh, in a black loading screen. What the grenades do is the grenade moves the MOC or moves your car and shifts it. And look, I get kicked out of his actual car and I'm invisible and off the radar. Now, what you want to do is run over to your car and you need to get into it. But you will not be able to get into your car until he backs off the pause menu and drives into his MOC. So that's what he just did in the top right. That was his perspective. So he hopped, he drove into his MOC. I'm able to go into my retro that I want to dupe. Now I'm in here. I'm going to let him know. All he has to do now is go over to online tab and go to creator. He wants to leave the session. Okay. So as you can see right there, he's left the session. You want to give it a few seconds. Once he has fully left the session and you're in your retro, check this shit out. All right. So he leaves the session. All of a sudden your screen will just turn black. All right, just like that. It's gonna say he left for a split second right there on the left. And it's gonna say, you know, it's gonna go black. It's gonna say he left. As you can see, you're gonna spawn back with your brand new dupe right there. 06LYV998, that same exact plate that was over on the, uh, you know, my free LG inside the MOC. It's as simple as that, guys. That is how you dupe a car with this. I'm telling you, mad easy. Now, all you wanna do is go ahead and drive it into your own MOC. You can have yours out on the map beforehand or after, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and drive it into your MOC and you're good, all right? So that part, you wanted to do it kinda quick because you don't, you're not OTR and invisible forever, all right? It does last only about a minute, but it's just enough time for you to actually go ahead and get into the car you wanna do he drives inside his MOC so that you can actually get into your car. And then once he's in there and you're in there, you tell him I'm ready to go. He leaves the session. Boom. You can hit the black screen. You spawn back and you have your brand new car with the brand new plate on it. No custom plates needed for this, guys. Now I'm going to go for the right D-pad start a little bit. Here are some fails. This is when I was trying to do it. So I went ahead and I'm helping him get a dupe right here. I'm going to toss a few grenades right there. And this is just going to, you know, move the MOC so that he can get off that infinite black loading screen. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and toss a few grenades. Make sure you toss them on the left side, not where the blue circle is, or they sometimes won't blow up. And I'm going to hit right D-pad start. And you see it didn't really work there. I ended up just driving back in. That will happen sometimes, guys. You will fail every now and then. Once you get it, though, it is super easy. You just go into the MOC. He hops back in it. And you go ahead and you drive back out. Sometimes spawn locations are a little bit weird, so it's up to you where you want to do this glitch. 
Uh, do you need the drive-in animation? I'd probably recommend it. All right, it might help. So now we're gonna go ahead and try again, and I'm just gonna show you that you know you do fail. All right, we don't hit it 100% of the time, but when you get it, that's the that's the only part you need to you need to succeed at. The rest of the dupe glitch is mad quick and easy. All right, so I toss a few grenades, try to hit right D-pad start. Once again, you know, start menu came up too late, it just drove me in. You just gotta get frozen behind the MOC, and he'll know because he'll get caught on a black loading screen. All right, so this part of the video right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just drive a Fagio into my MOC because I already had a dupe in there. So I'm just gonna put a Fagio in there, and the plate on this Fagio is what's gonna transfer over to the dupe, all right? Nice and simple, guys. Like I said, you can use a Fagio or an RH8. If you wanna make it quicker, uh, what I would recommend, the session that he went into after he helped me get the dupe, he's going to send me an invite over there to that session, and then we can go ahead and dupe the cars. Okay, again, I'd always recommend a new session per dupe, all right? It seems to help. Sometimes those grenades don't blow up, and it gets super glitchy if you stay in the same session. If you want to try it, that's up to you. I recommend just having your friend who went to Creator send you an invite into that session, and then you guys can go ahead and dupe on their end, and then go back and forth, basically. Whoever goes to Creator and goes to a new session, have that person send the friend, uh, you know, send the duper an invite, and then you guys can switch up roles. All right, so I always recommend a new invite only session per dupe, but as you guys saw, the dupe takes one minute. Now I'm gonna show you two methods how to hit this. You can either use the grenades method, or you can use this method, okay? This method right here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna cause either, you know, it's gonna cause some cars to actually crash into you, or the MOC, and that's actually gonna get you out of the car, all right? The whole point, of the grenades is to actually move the MOC and shift it so that it kicks you out of his car and that's when you go OTR and invisible all right that is the whole point of those grenades that's why we did this three players at first with my other account we shot at the MOC and then we realized we can make it a two player method very very easily all right so we we narrowed it down to two players for you guys originally a three player glitch it's now two players super simple guys okay so right here as you can see I'm just calling up my LG retro custom now, once again, doesn't matter which one you call up, I always recommend Benny's vehicles, they all sell for the most. If you want to dupe supercars and sports cars, I guess you can, but make sure you only dupe them once, keep the dupe for yourself, and sell the original. That's how you make money off of supercars and, uh, you know, any sort of cars like that. But definitely recommend, you know, definitely recommend the LG Retro Custom and Benny's vehicles, it's the best one. So this is the second method you can try. You can actually try parking the MOC like this, you know, way out in the street, go ahead and have your retro. Remember, I'm the duper. I'm going to have my retro over here waiting in the street for me. All right. Once again, see, I have a real easy plate on there. That plate will change into a fresh generic plate. All right. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to actually shoot around to make the, uh, you know, I'm in the passenger seat. I'm shooting around so that the guys, you know, out on the street, they're going nuts. He's going to go ahead and hit right D-pad start. All right. While I'm shooting. He's, so he's going to hit it right about now. He's going to go ahead and hit right D-pad start. He's going to get frozen, and I'm going to get caught on a black screen. All right? So here we go. Here we go. Anytime now. There we go. So I'm caught on a black screen. I'm the passenger. A car is actually going to run into our car. Check this out. There's like a Mustang on the street. He's actually going to run right into us, and it's going to kick me off the black screen. You saw that? It kicked me off. I'm already outside of the car, actually. Look at that. I didn't really notice. I thought I was still in the car. I'm trying to, like, get out. I'm actually on foot invisible already. So I was like, yo, hurry up, go into your uh, go into your MOC. You see, I couldn't get into my car. You cannot get into your vehicle until he goes into his MOC. There we go, he went, in, he went into his MOC. I am now able to go into my car. He's in there, he's gonna go ahead and just go to creator. All right, once he goes to creator, that's when I'm gonna be put on the black screen just like that. As you saw a flicker that happened, you know, happened in the bottom left that he, <laughs> he left the session. And there you go, we have another brand new dupe with a brand new custom plate, that is, or a brand new fresh plate, I should say. That's the plate that came from that Fagio that I put in there a little bit earlier. All right, guys, super, super simple. All right, very, very simple. Those are two methods that you can do to actually hit this glitch, all right? Very simple glitch to do. I'm even gonna show you guys another, you know, another successful attempt because I wanna make sure that you guys understand everything. So you can obviously do the grenades method, have the driver throw a couple grenades and then get frozen with right D-pad start. Uh, sometimes it is a bit laggy, so I'd say if the right D-pad start doesn't bring up the pause menu right away, hit pause again, all right? Hit pause. Uh, sometimes I had to hit pause like three times for it to come up. As long as you don't drive into the MOC and you get the pause menu up, you are good. Your friend will get caught on that black loading screen. And the black loading screen lasts 
for only as long as you don't get moved around, okay? Once you get moved around by either the grenades or a streetcar hitting you, that's how you get kicked out of the black screen and you can go ahead and actually be invisible and off the radar. So we're gonna do it again here. This is the car he had in his MOC. He's gonna help me get a dupe. So you can see a bunch of cars are right there. I'm just gonna take a few shots just to make these people freak out and he's gonna hit right D-pad start. So check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a little bit. He hit right D-pad start and a car runs into us pretty quick. You see a car ran into me. I was getting out of the car and I'm once again invisible and OTR. I got hit right there, but it's all good. I got hit, make sure you don't die. We haven't died, so I don't know what happens if you do, but I'm gonna run over to my car and he's already driving into his MOC. That's why I'm able to hop into my vehicle. See, I got the Rollezy plate on here. Once he's in there, once again, he's going to go to online creator. You saw the little flicker that said BMX left. And there we go. I got another brand new dupe just like that. You just spawn back from the black screen with your brand new dupe, with your brand new fresh plate from the car that was in your MOC. All right. That freaking simple. Okay. I, it can't be any more simple, guys. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Uh, it took us a little while to find this man, but it was totally worth it. Shout out to all the Xbox glitchers. There's not many of us out there. Shout out once again to BMX or 300ZX and myself for finding this dope retro duplication glitch. Uh, that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe by hitting that big red button if you're new to the channel. Uh, you know, turn post notifications on. Drop a fat like down on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody, and happy glitching.